Hello, Christian Livingstone here again, and I've had another visitor out back, and uh, it's an old foe, and uh, I'm kind of happy to see him again, but uh, that's to his own detriment. But we'll go take a look, huh? It's a possum. It's a pretty good size one, too. And I moved the cage around so I could get a better shot at him, and he doesn't want to move around, but... He had his mouth open and he was showing me his teeth there for a second, but these are not the bravest of animals. They're, they're known for playing possum or playing dead, so that's one of their defense mechani mechanisms is to play dead. And, uh, but they believe me, they have sharp, sharp teeth and pretty good claws, so I don't know, in a, in a scrap with a, a regular house cat, they might... They might do all right, but uh, possums are the only uh, indigenous uh, marsupials in North America that I know. There's, you know, other marsupials, you know, down in South America and especially in, in on the uh, Australian continent. But uh, marsupials are uh, rare in North America, and this is uh, the one. And marsupial just means they. Uh, keep their young in their pouch to develop them and nurse them and and uh, you know they can come out of the pouch and go back in after they get large enough and their offspring uh, for a marsupial is uh, not called uh, you know kids or kits they're called uh, of all things they're called joeys that's what the the babies are called inside the pouches they're called joeys so uh, uh, this one apparently, uh, along with the skunks, has been uh, getting into these uh, melons on this side of the melon patch. And you can see that uh, melon right there. This side of the patch has this uh, uh, variety uh, called the uh, sugar baby, which uh, I don't care so much about. There, There's a lot of seeds in these uh, smaller sugar baby melons and... Uh, you know, after it's all said and done, you get about a half a dozen good bites out of the heart of the uh, melon. But the ones I'm more protective of are these uh, uh, crimson sweets. And uh, as you can see, there's some nice big fatties coming online. They're going to be plucked here probably in a week or less. And there's probably a dozen more like them uh, coming behind them. So those are what I'm protecting right there. And that's why I set the cage. As you can see out there, the uh, cantaloupes are pretty well spent, but surprisingly they just seem to keep having uh, a few dozen more at, at all times, but undoubtedly that'll come to an end soon. But uh, this little critter here, we might try to feed him, see if we get some activity out of him. Let me do that. Let me cut up that uh, melon he was uh, pecking at uh, last night and uh, Bring it over here and see if we can get him to uh, show his personality. Okay, kids. You can see I've cut up some uh, watermelon here. And I'm going to try to feed him. Uh, but keep your hands uh, clearly away as far as you can. Because, uh, you know, if he got, got close enough to a, a small child's finger, he could undoubtedly bite it off. And... Uh, even those claws can reach through a cage like this and uh, uh, probably put a good good uh, uh, scrape on you. So I'm going to use the biggest part of the uh, melon here to kind of buffer me uh, putting it up to his cage. Maybe I'll even use the uh, big knife to hold it out to him and see if he goes for it. He doesn't hiss or do something. Come on. You hungry? Nah. Let me see if I can get a little action out of him by just bringing him up here. Oh, yeah. He got his mouth wide open. There he is. 
North American marsupial. Rawr. I'm not going to bug him too much. 